What's up, guys? I'm Ricky. This is Brendan. Together with ETFW. And tonight, we're at the Jenny Dixon Beach. Jenny Dixon Beach has a very rich history involving the paranormal, which dates all the way back to the colonial era. It's also an extremely popular spot amongst locals. Actually, a spot that's been recommended by you guys for us to come check out. There's also been over 300 police reportings, which have all been revolved around paranormal sightings. Tonight is also the season finale for Haunted. Don't worry guys, we've got plenty of stuff lined up for 2020 and I'm sure you're going to hear about it very shortly. And just really quickly, we just want to make a massive shout out and thank you to our subscribers and viewers. Today is a momentous occasion for us because we've just hit 100 subscribers this very day that we're filming this episode. Massive. So we just want to thank you guys for tuning in every single week and, and sticking with us and exploring these places with us. Those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. We encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below check us out on Instagram or Twitter, send us a message, give us some feedback, maybe a suggestion, or even if you just want to say hi, we would really appreciate and love to hear from you. So that's it and done. Let's get cool. stuck into it. Cool. See you guys. See you guys. All right guys, so we just got down to the actual beach itself, the sand that we're standing on. Um, now, like we mentioned before, the beach is, is called Jenny Dixon Beach. Now, this whole area was originally known as Shipwreck Cove. Uh, the reason it's be called, uh, be, being called Jenny Dixon Beach is because uh, a ship shipwrecked here. I believe it was the, the name of the ship was Jenny Dixon. That's why it got its name. Now, the ghost that apparently haunts this beach uh, is a woman and she walks up and down the beach and also blocks the uh, exit of the stairs as you can see right there with her arms outstretched now supposedly the story behind that is that she was on a boat a vessel coming past here and her son uh, fell overboard into the water and was never recovered um, and she now haunts this beach walking up and down trying to find him so her holding her arms outstretched might be asking for help or possibly warning off uh, people from this location uh, we're just going to go for a bit of a walk up and down here, see if we can spot anything, feel anything that's a bit odd. Um, so yeah, keep tuned and uh, let's get to it. Oh. Yeah, so there's been reported locations along the beach. I think it was about seven locations where empaths have uh, experienced depression, uh, and sadness and all those negative uh, emotions that, that, that would uh, come along with losing a loved one. Um, so we're just walking along with the EMF reader just to see if it picks up anything while we're walking, seeing if we can feel any, any of those sad negative energies uh, ourselves. It is a very, I mean, I'm already starting to feel a bit creeped out from this place. Yeah. It just gets that sad feeling of like... Pretty sad story though. It's like seeing a, a dead flower this, this beach is, is just kind of how it feels at the moment. I so. keep feeling like uh, everything I see, anything that's like bright or white, I, 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 <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm literally seeing uh, like a woman. Yeah. But I think it's just my mind playing big tricks on Yeah, it might be um, the mind playing tricks on us, but yeah. you know, we'll, we'll have a bit of a walk and we'll take you guys with us and yeah. we'll see what we find. So Cool. Like closer to the water I get, like that kind of uh, sad feeling I get almost, I guess. Like you a, know what they say, like water. Like what? What a, what a, a doctor. For yeah, but it's, it's like well, I mean, like I guess it's because the boy was lost in the water as well. But it's just the closer that I get to the water, like around these areas along here, it's it's just reminding me of when I lost my like when my pet dog died, the family dog died. It's just like that's the that feeling that I'm getting. It's, uh, it's 
not a pleasant feeling, but I mean, I don't feel like I'm in danger like the Morrison yeah. place. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so um, we just want to quickly apologize for the noise here. Um, as you guys can understand, we are on a beach. Um, so it is going to be a little bit noisy, just bear with us. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different tonight. This spot has multiple areas that have had haunted uh, sightings and paranormal activity. The beach, Wilford Barrett Drive, and the Norahead Cemetery. Tonight, we're going to split up. Brendan's going to stay here on the beach. Brendan's going to try an investigation here. We want to do this because we don't know if it'll be different on our own, if we're going to get more activity or less. Yeah, I mean, one of, one of, one of the viewers suggested when we did the Wake Coast Parkway Road uh, drive, it was because there was two of us in the car and she only appears when we're by ourselves. So on top of that, we're just trying to push ourselves out of our out of our limits, you know, exactly. get, us, get ourselves more comfortable yeah. uh, with this. Obviously with Morrison, we felt really, really unsafe and we ended up pulling the plug. We don't want to do that again, just for you guys, just so you can see what happens. So yeah, we're just kind of taking it to the next level now and just, uh, we're going to split up, unfortunately. So you guys are going to have to watch my back. So basically, Brendan's going to hang out here on the beach. I'm going to go back to the car and I'm going to head to Wilfred Barrett, Wilfred Barrett Drive. And I'm going to see if I can pick up anything on the hitchhiker ghost. Brendan's going to see if he can get anything up on the ghost that haunts this beach. Yay. Guys, again, doing this for you, pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone. And with that said, Let's uh, cross ways, old friend. Let's part ways. Nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. <laughs> All right, guys, stick with. Brendan's gonna, gonna, Brendan's gonna pick it up here, and I'm gonna pick it up back in the car. Alrighty, peace, guys. Alrighty, guys, we made it back from the beach. Luckily, we didn't die by spiders on the way back up. Um, I'm just in the car now. Brendan's down on the beach alone. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start the drive along Wilford Barrett Drive. Um, I'm going to stop somewhere so we can do an investigation. I've got one GoPro on my head facing the road, and I've also got one GoPro facing me, so if you see anything behind me, um, so that way if anything comes up behind me, you guys will be able to see it. But um, I'm not going to lie, like, I'm definitely not as scared as what Brendan probably is right now. now. I've got a set of dowsing rods on me. The weirdest thing was, as soon as I got in the car, the, um, the dowsing rods basically just flew off the back seat. Like, no word of a lie, I've got... I got the dowsing rods here, I had them on the back seat. As soon as I got in the car, I just got out of the car park real quick. Literally, I heard the dowsing rods fly off the back seat. And I was like, I wasn't even driving like five kilometers an hour. Weirder things have happened. All right, so this is Wilfred Barrett Drive. The, the story here, is in the 1970s there was a lady a girl I'm not quite sure how old she was um, she was hitchhiking her way back from work walking along this road um, the story is she was picked up by five male youths now these five male youths proceeded to rape and uh, and physically abuse her um, they dumped her body back on the um on the Jenny Dixon beach and she was later discovered barely alive and on her deathbed rumor has it that she said to her father that um she basically won't rest until um the five youths are uh, basically brought to justice now those youths never actually were convicted they never were convicted of the crime they were never charged and pretty pretty creepy story happened to every single one of those youths essentially they all committed suicide or died in a fatal crash um, I believe the first I believe the first youth I, I believe one youth hung himself one drove his car off a cliff one went and joined the circus to get away from this area and constantly reported of having hauntings and and being followed and just all sorts of creepy stuff um, he then later, I believe, shot himself. Um, another youth, one of the one of the males, drove his car. Um, basically, basically rode his car off the road and killed himself. The, the the story is, you know, basically all these youths committed suicide in gruesome ways. Um, 
you know that as well is it's police accounted for you know it's recorded in police uh, police documentation all these youths dying and you know though you, though there might not be a link I mean it's kind of beyond the point of coincidence you know those five males you know all having you know e all experiencing things like that it's a bit it's a bit crazy but um I will say being on my own is uh is definitely a lot creepier driving through here All right guys, so we're alone now. If something comes up from behind me, and it, you guys gotta watch my back. What I've got with me right now are the good old trusty dowsing rod, the EMF reader. We got a spirit box. So some of you guys were saying we should get a spirit box. Um, we've been meaning to get one for a while now. It just, it just adds to our armory of uh, ghost uh, hunting, paranormal hunting uh, equipment. Allows us to use different things, different methods, see what works best. And that's a light. Why is there a light there? Oh, my mind is playing tricks on me. Let's keep checking behind myself. I feel like someone's right behind me. Now I, I did go for a bit of a, a bit of a walk while Rick was setting up the camera just before he left. About 10, 15 meters in that direction. The EMF reader went straight to red and just stayed on red. I keep, I keep, I keep seeing things over there. I don't know what it is though. The light doesn't help. Yeah, so about 10, 15 meters over there, this just went straight to red uh, and just and just held, which it doesn't usually do that. When it does do that, like the last time it did that was in uh, the rocks at Sydney, right underneath the Harbour Bridge, where we were communicating with uh, with the spirit there from. Uh, the, the the rocks push the spirit that Rick communicated with. So that was the last time that it kind of went real solid, uh, full on like that. So this is the only thing that that kind of consoles me, makes me feel a little better, is that Ricky has to drive down that street by himself. He's probably talking about either how terrified he is right now, or uh, giving you a history lesson on the road, which is uh, absolutely horrible, horrible history lesson. split up like this before so I've no idea where to look whenever whenever Rick and I've been filming he's always been on that side to be able to see what's behind me and I'm here I'm able to see what's behind him but right now I my head is on a swivel I definitely heard a woman wail and there's there's the shadows just moving all around me right now I just as I walk past and the lights not in my eyes I can just I can just see almost movement like it's there's something out there, but I just can't. I can't see anything. Yo, all right. Uh, so let's give the uh, the spirit box a bit of a go and see if there's anyone here. Uh, this will have more of a chance of picking up audio because it scans the frequencies. Um, those frequencies that a the camera doesn't hear and b our ears don't pick up. Um, so this will be able to give us an understanding. This, in theory, anyway, will be able to give us an understanding of if someone's here with us. So, that is right. There's someone definitely here right now. I can hear someone walking. I can, I can hear the sand, like the, the sound of sand being stepped on. And 
it's, and it's not because I'm by myself and I'm just paranoid and seeing things. I, I can definitely hear someone here. Uh, let's just get into it. Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with me right now? If you are here, can you please let me know you're here by making a noise or a sound saying yes, you're, you're here with me right now, please. Anything. Obviously, I'm talking a bit too loud into it because I'm used to yelling to you guys because of the waves. Um, so I'll have to speak a little bit quieter into here so it's not blowing my ears out. We'll give that a go again. Are there any spirits here with me right now that wish to communicate? If you're here with me, can you please let me know you are here by saying yes or, or saying a word, just letting me know that you are here. It's important to be polite uh, as well. Uh, something that you guys may have picked up, the viewers have seen us uh, be polite, be nice, uh, say thank you, say please. It is important to do that. Uh, let's, let's give this a listen now. Are there any spirits here with me right now that wish to communicate? If you're here with me, can you please let me know you are here by saying yes or saying a word, just letting me know that you Because with these, with electronic stuff, uh, frequencies might be picked up by anything. Wireless receivers, whatever. Um, this is an electronic device. I mean, who knows if it works or not. That's why we get these things to test so you guys know yourself. With the dowsing rods, they're trusted, they're true. They always work. So I'll give the dowsing rods a go after I give this one, I go one more time. It may not feel like it's scary for you guys, but oh my God, this is terrifying. It's not terrifying because like I know what's going, like like what's happened here and what's been reported here. It's just terrifying because I genuinely feel like I'm not alone. But like I'm with a stranger kind of thing. Like it's it's not like I'm here with Rick where I feel comfortable, uh, you know, even, even in, in, in uncomfortable places, I still feel comfortable having Rick there. Right now I I just feel like I'm with a stranger. It's just it's difficult to explain. Uh, I'll give it a go one more time. If there are any spirits here that wish to communicate, the Jenny Dixon ghost that haunts this beach looking for her lost son is here. Can you please let me know you're here by verbal confirmation? Make a noise, say yes, something along those lines, please. Give that a go. It sounds like those footsteps again. I'll turn this off and give the, the old down here on the go. Uh, I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright guys, so got out the old trusty uh, dowsing rods. Like I said, there's, there's pretty much no wind. If there are any spirits here, right now, if there are any energies, any spirits here with me right now, 
and you wish to communicate, can you please cross these rods over in front of me? So if there are any spirits here at all on this beach with me right now, please cross the rods in front of me, I mean you no harm. I feel you pushing on them, I promise you I mean you no harm. I only wish to talk, I only wish to know your story. The spirit that just crossed these rods in front of me, can you please use your energy to straighten the rods again, please? And then I will begin to ask you some questions. So once again, the spirit who just crossed these rods, can you please straighten them for me? And then we can ask some questions. I promise I mean no harm. Please straighten the rods and I can ask you some questions. Thank you. The spirit that crossed these rods, are you the ghost that haunts this beach, the ghost of Jenny Dixon? If you are, can you please widen these rods all the way over towards me, so push them outwards towards myself. If you are the ghost that haunts this beach, the Jenny Dixon ghost. show yourself on this beach to visitors and tourists and locals alike, do you show yourself in the form of a woman wearing a white dress and your arms spread out as if you're looking for help? If you are, can you please leave the right rod where it is but move the left rod all the way over to my right, please? Thank you for confirming that for me. Would you be able to point the tips of the rods to your location, so where you are on this beach right now? So again, I ask, can you please move the tips of the rods to point in the direction that you are? That's just on that beach over there. Where I keep hearing the stepping, where I keep thinking I'm seeing something. nervous feeling all of a sudden. Um, I asked the spirit that is here with me right now, are you standing on that beach right now? Are you over there looking for your son? If you are, can you please leave the right rod where it is, but move the left rod so that they cross in front of me? So move the left rod over to the right to cross in front of me if that is where you are and you're moving looking for your lost son. Do you wander up and down this beach? So do you walk along the beach in front of me and along the beach behind me looking for your lost son? If you do, can you please 
leave the left rod where it is, but move the right rod to my far right, please. That explains why I hear the footsteps. The ghost that haunts this beach, the ghost that is here with me right now, can you tell me, are you friendly? Or do you mean me harm? Do you not wish me? Do you not want me to be here? If you're friendly, can you please cross the rods directly in front of me? If you want me to leave or if you're unfriendly, can you open the rods outwards completely wide, please? So open the rods completely out if you're unfriendly or cross them in front of me if you are friendly. unfriendly ones. I'll just quickly show you where uh, where she was pointing herself to. Uh, I'll just show you guys now. So she said she's uh, she's over here somewhere. Alrighty guys. This is pretty creepy here stopping but I'm gonna give a go to some dowsing rods now. I hope you guys can see everything here. Let's give it a go. If there are any spirits here with me right now, I invite you to communicate. Are you able to cross these rods? If there's any spirits here that would like to communicate, I mean no harm. I only wish to communicate. I wish to know your story. If there are any spirits with me that would wish to communicate, you please cross these rods. I mean no harm. I can feel your energy. Cross these rods. To the spirit I'm speaking to, if you're able to straighten these rods back out for me, then I'll continue to ask some questions. If you can straighten these rods back out, and then I can continue to ask some questions. the spirit that I'm talking to can you please straighten these rods back out in front of me if you can straighten these rods back out I can continue to ask some questions I can feel your energy I can feel you moving these rods. Oh, I moved a little bit there. Let me just reset a little bit, guys. To the spirit that I'm communicating to, are you the ghost of the lady that was raped and murdered here along Wilfred Barrett Drive in the 1970s? If so, can you cross both rods to my right hand side? Just to my 
and left. If you are the spirit of the lady pointing to the back seat, to the spirit that I'm communicating to, if you're the ghost of the lady that was raped and murdered in the 1970s, can you please point both rods to my far right? Point both rods over to my far right if you're the spirit of the lady that was brutally raped and murdered here in the 1970s. Again, I, I mean no harm. I wish to find out your story. If possible, I can help you pass. Here's your pain. Cross both rods to my far right hand side. I keep pointing to my left. To the spirit that I'm communicating to, if there is a specific reason you keep pointing the rods to my left, can you straighten the rods back out in front of me? Is there a specific reason you're pointing the rods to my left? Point to the left before. To the spirit that I'm communicating to, are you a friendly ghost? Are you a friendly spirit? I'm not sure why you keep pointing to my left, but if you're friendly, are you able to cross these rods over in front of me? Cross both rods over in front of me if you're a friendly spirit. If you're a hostile spirit and your intentions are bad and you'd wish me to leave, can you move just my right rod over to my far right? Friendly. Again, to the spirit I'm communicating to, if you're the spirit of the girl that was murdered in the 1970s here. Can you move both rods to my right hand side? If you are another spirit, are you able to move both rods to my left hand side? Again, to the spirit that I'm communicating to, if you are the spirit of the lady that was murdered in the 1970s, you're able to cross, move both these rods to my right hand side, or if you are another spirit, move both rods to my left.
people might be investigating or why the hell is he not answering? That's so weird. Sorry, Holy man. Shit. Uh, it's been it's been a pretty it's been a pretty wild yeah. session and, and now that I've just answered the phone to you. Yeah. And the EMF reader's nowhere near me. It's on the ground over there, guys. I can't really show you guys, but it's blowing up right now. And Holy I've just been saying that it's definitely someone here with me. I just did a dowsing session and... You got something? Yeah, I got something. How, how was you? Where, where are you? I'm like five minutes away, but I didn't I didn't get anything. Nothing did weird. I, I, did, I did a drive through. I stopped. I've done a dowsing rod session, but again, I don't seem to like nothing no real like i got movement but again it didn't really answer any of my questions specifically um what do you mean like it, it didn't really answer any of my questions how i mean if i asked it to move left or right there were the weirdest thing were they were both basically just stuck pointing to the back seat like they they the like they basically were just pointing to the back seat the whole time and they weren't moving like they moved a couple of times, but they were basically just, it, it answered when I asked if there was something here. And then they basically just stayed on my back seat. And the only other weird thing, I, I said this as I got in the car, as I drove out of the car park, both dowsing rods went flying off the back seat onto the floor. They both flew off the back seat. I like forwards as you're moving for, forward. No, forward. It's, it, countering gravity well that's that's what i thought i thought i don't know at the same time i was like i'm not sure maybe i put them on the back seat a little bit crooked or something or i don't know i i, I was a bit like what the fuck when i started driving i heard them fall and i reached back and picked them up and i was like that's so weird because i had them resting on the back seat but i don't know if i might have had them half on half off but apart from that i i haven't really had anything anything too strange um eerie but nothing that weird you know well Look, man, I am fucking packing shit right now. Like, there's definitely something here with me, and it's because I asked if it was friendly, and she was pretty quick to say no, she wasn't. No way. Um, I want to get the fuck off this beach, man. All right, well, I'm going to come back. Do you want me to meet you on the beach, or do you want to meet me up top? Uh, I wanna, I'll, I'll meet you up top. If you want to come down for yourself, we can, but I want to meet you up top. I just want to get off this beach right now. Okay, you start making your way back up top. I'm gonna start driving back. I'm about five minutes away and I'll meet you at the top. Just watch out for the spiders because I saw so many on the way up. Yeah, it's cool. I'll see you soon. Bye, right, I'll see you soon. All right, bye. All right, bye. Alrighty.